guys, so I'm back. Um, so I've been messing around with the idle, and I've been having some surging with the idle. At first, I thought a lot of that had to do with the fueling and uh, you know the actual fueling, but I think what it ended up being was. Um, so this is a data log of the idle. So I got my target idle and my RPM. You can see why I have it named P70D30. That is the uh, PIDs and the idle spark control. So I've been messing with these numbers and every time that I change a number, I'll go up here and I'll log it. And when I log it, I'll save it at whatever those numbers are. So Holly starts out with these, I think at around 40, 50 something like that so I just started changing them around and uh, I'll show you in the logs the different numbers that I've tried so all these up top are the ones that I have tried so far the 7030 seems to give me the the best idle quality like it it follows along pretty well so um, anyhow I thought somebody might be able to use that that's some pretty uh I, I wish I'd have known this a while back, so, and as I say that, the auto kind of jumped up a little bit, which is fine, but, uh, anyhow, it's just a little short video on, uh, setting up the auto spark, and it does make a difference, um, so, like I said, you know, guys, tuning is simply trial and error, sometimes you go in on something like that, you change a number, and see what it does. So, I found on the website, on the Holly website, the Brawl, I think's his last name. So, he posted up a link on the side about tuning, and that's where I found the auto control. So, PND is part of the, uh, the PIDs. If, I don't know if you guys are familiar with PIDs set up in like com uh, computer control type stuff. <clears throat> but, P stands for proportional term that is the speed at which it's going to change the timing okay your derivative which d that is the overshoot um i had to you know back in an old job i used to have we built power supplies and i had to control i had to play around with the pids on the power supply to uh to basically you know as you was ramping current into a, a magnet that we built the pids controlled whenever you was reaching your limit on the current it would control the voltage on how slow and smooth the voltage went down to zero without overshooting and all that stuff anyhow so this is going to be a quick three minute video that's all i got for that one anyhow guys peace hey guys so i'm back um so i've been messing around with the idle and i've been having some surging with the idle first I thought a lot of that had to do with the fueling and uh, you know the actual fueling but I think what it ended up being was um, so this is a data log of the idle so I got my target idle and my RPM you can see why I have it named P70D30 that is the uh, PIDs and the idle spark control so I've been messing with these numbers and every time that I change a number, I'll go up here and I'll log it. And when I log it, I'll save it at whatever those numbers are. So Holly starts out with these, I think at around 40 and 50, something like that. So I just started changing them around and uh, I'll show you in the logs, the different numbers that I've tried. So all these up top are the ones that I have tried. So far, the 7030 seems to give me the the best idle quality. Like it, it follows along pretty well. So, um, anyhow, I thought somebody might be able to use that. That's some pretty. Uh, I, I wish I'd have known this a while back. So, and as I say that, the idle kind of jumped up a little bit, which is fine. But uh, anyhow. It's just a little short video on uh, setting up the idle spark, and it does make a difference. Um, so, like I said, you know, guys, tuning is simply trial and error. 
sometimes you need to go in on something like that you change a number and see what it does so I found on the website on the Holly website a brawl I think is his last name so he posted up a link on the side about tuning and that's where I found the auto control so PND is part of the uh, the PIDs if I don't know if you guys are familiar with PIDs set up in like com uh, computer control type stuff <clears throat> but P stands for proportional term that is the speed at which it's going to change the timing okay your derivative which D that is the overshoot um, I had to you know back in an old job I used to have, we built power supplies, and I had to I had to play around with the PIDs on the power supply to, uh, to basically, you know, as you was ramping current into a, a magnet that we built, the PIDs controlled whenever you was reaching your limit on the current, it would control the voltage on how slow and smooth the voltage went down to zero without overshooting and all that stuff. Anyhow. So this is going to be a quick three minute video, that's all I got for that one, anyhow guys, peace.